Well, heading into the long weekend, you might want to fill up your gas tank today. A hike at the pumps is coming, of course, just in time for the long weekend. And for more on this, we're joined by Dan McTague with Canadians for Affordable Energy. So, Dan, walk us through the latest numbers in the price hike that drivers might not want to hear about as a lot of people are looking to get out of town for this long weekend. Yeah, look, Scott, never good news when I'm coming on telling you about a price increase, but it's up four cents a litre on Friday tomorrow, which means uh, average prices in the GTA will be going from $1.53.9 to $1.57.9. Uh, the timing on this, of course, looks a lot like the long weekend, but in fact, it has everything to do with what happened in the U.S. market yesterday, especially with word that uh, the United States may uh, fend off the possibility of breaching its debt ceiling, uh, an agreement between the president apparently and Congress. Although that is 100% yet, it was enough to get markets to uh, get out of their uh, their doldrums that they've been in for the past nine months and uh, perhaps a signal that we could be seeing prices going up. By the way, the U.S. market uh, and holidays and start till next week, the official kickoff to their uh, summer driving season. Mm -hmm. So the U.S., of course, celebrating Memorial Day a week after we celebrate the May 24th weekend. So you gave us some of the factors behind what uh, is leading to some of these price hikes at the gas pump for drivers. Where do you see prices going? As you mentioned, we kick off the summer driving season for here at home and the U.S. as well a week later than us. Well, Scott, fundamentals haven't played a very important role in uh, energy pricing uh, of late. In fact, I would say if, at least since last July or August, markets have been more preoccupied with recession, interest rates, uh, you know, debt ceilings, uh, you know, and the factors around the world which have very little to do with supply and demand. Once they start to look at that, and I think that's going to start as early as next week, uh, we're going to see a pretty significant increase. Uh, how much and when? Uh, is a little more hard, difficult to determine, but we're in for probably what could be a 20 to 25 percent correction uh, at the pumps. So that you know, if you're not happy with the buck 57, you're certainly not going to be happy with you know buck 65 to a dollar 75. I think we're in for about a five cent increase by the end of next week, just because of the U.S. holiday. Demand is very high and supply just isn't there, especially when you consider oil uh, in particular, with the wildfires in Alberta uh, limiting about mm. two. 150,000 barrels. So what happens in Canada does finally matter, and uh, it's going to start to matter, especially as we head towards the dog days of summer. All right, Dan McTague with Canadians for Affordable Energy giving us an update on the price at the pump as we head into the long weekend with many people expected to hit the roads. Thanks so much for joining us and providing the insight this afternoon. You're welcome. Thanks, Scott.